Hello, Dull Bedsit Blogger here, and I'm just doing a quick video response to uh, Dave the Couch Guys. I want Dave the Couch Guys. Um, the Trouble with Vlogging vlog, where he was talking about how, uh, you know, part of the problem of doing a daily vlog is that, um, you know, some viewers get bored and you get bored you get worried as well that you're going to be doing the same old thing again and again and it gets boring and that uh nico had had someone email him to say uh, you're boring you're doing the same thing over and over again blah 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 i'm out of here well i did start writing quite a long um reply which is unusual for me to write a long comment and and then i was thinking you know what i'm heading around in circles i'll do a video response now from my experience of doing uh, a year-long daily vlog the first hundred days are pretty tricky i think you're finding your style and your flow uh because you know, I know you, Dave, you do, you've been just about a daily vlogger before you were a daily vlogger. But do, when you're making a natural decision to be doing a daily vlog, I think your style is really, it, it changes. And as for it getting boring, you know, like I was saying, the first hundred days, you're still finding your style, you're getting into the flow of it and things like that. Um, but as for the viewers it, that you might lose, who cares about those viewers? They're obviously not able to step back from looking at the individual vlogs and able to step back and look at the project as a whole. Because, you know, if you were to just look at one tiny piece of, uh, you know, you know, if you were to look at the, the, the roof of the Sistine Chapel, uh, which took years to paint, and you were just to look at one tiny piece of it, that'd be really dull. But if you step back and look at the whole project, it, it comes into its own. And, you know, part of the repetition of doing a daily vlog is part of the thing. Um, I think it kind of really does follow in this, in almost in the style of uh, Andy Warhol's repetition series of pictures, where he'd have a, I think his his famous one was uh, the Campbell's Soup and Marilyn Monroe, the Marilyn Monroe screen print, where they just screen print over and over again, and you know the sound of like what just doing the same screen print over and over and get uh, again that doesn't sound very interesting but the reality is quite interesting because slowly that's that image gets destroyed until you can't see what it is so like the repetition of the vlogs don't worry about the repetition of the vlogs they're, the, they're just a tiny part of your the project as a whole um you know the main thing is to keep it interesting for yourself that's the tricky thing. Don't worry about the viewers. Worry about keeping it interesting for yourself. And you know ultimately how to entertain yourself. You know, I when I did my, my year of vlogging, I had little storylines that I'd run through it um, and things like that. So, you know, that's down to you. And don't worry. Don't worry about boring the viewers. If they can't, you know... The person that emailed Nico is obviously an idiot um, because, like, it's not like we're paying to watch you. If you're not enjoying watching someone, why don't you just turn off and watch someone else? Um, and, you know, and it's just, you know, people should step back and look at the bigger picture. It's not that one vlog in a, a, a daily vlog for a year is, is nothing. It's a tiny little little chip just people should look back at the whole project as a whole 
Anyway, that's my rambly, ranty thing going on about art, pretending I'm really deep when I'm not quite as deep as I really am. Um, keep going. You, you, you can do it. Bye-bye. I'll let Nico know about this. Yeah. Bye.